So this week has all been about flavour, and one of Nigella's favourite ingredients is lemons. And you've got a brilliant twist on an old favourite. Well, I have. I'm doing a lemon pavlova. And I feel a bit embarrassed being in Australia and doing a pav. But what I will say is that everything I know about pavlovas I learnt from Stephanie Alexander, which I have adopted lovingly. So I'm going to make a curd. So what I need... Two eggs. A bit of shell, always helpful. Uh, two egg yolks. And 150 grams of caster sugar. So off the heat... So this is like a very quick method. You have to watch that it doesn't split. There we are. And it's got 100 grams of soft, unsalted butter. And it has got to be soft because you really need everything to start melting straight away. And just like the two eggs, two egg yolks, two lemons, zest and juice. For me, lemon curd always has to be sharp, but especially when it's going on a pavlova, I really want it to make my cheeks squeak. Want to squeeze some lemons? Sure. Here you are. You want how many lemons do you want in here? I Just want the juice. No, no, both, Two, please. Both. Right, now, I might live a little dangerously. <laughs> <laughs> the big play. I know, I know I shouldn't, but I'm an impatient person, OK? It may work, it may not work. We'll, we'll see. I love it. This is drama. <laughs> I have two character trays which are not regarded as like great virtues in the world, but they're very useful in cooking, and that's um, impatience and greed. <laughs> 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 but they really help the cook. See, I'm just pinching myself because I'm here, and that's Nigella Lawson there. Oh, stop it. <laughs> that's so cool, isn't it? So obviously here, the, the key is to keep everything moving, yes? To keep everything moving, but every now and then, because, you know, it'll, it'll heat up, I take it off the heat and I carry on like this. And really, the, the idea really is to use a pan. You don't want a big pan, but you need a pan with a, quite a bit of surface area, because what I don't want it to be is too deep, and then you're getting a small bit under the heat. Oh, okay, it's yeah. beginning, can you Here see? It's beginning to thicken. Any minute now, we're going to have a wonderfully thick, golden, glossy mixture. You can actually see the whiskers making a mark. Ooh. It will, it will be a lot thicker as it cools. Okay, let's just get rid of this to cool. Oh, jeez, good, 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 nice punch to it. Really? It? Mm. Right, are you ready for the pav itself? Yes, I want to see this. So, egg whites, how many? Six. I always feel that cooking is a bit like child rearing, that you know they can feel the fear in your voice, so you have got to have a certain amount of confidence and authority, or at least make it seem as if you have, otherwise nothing behaves. Start adding caster sugar. So sugar a little at a time. Oh yeah, I try. <laughs> <laughs> so three seven five grams of sugar to six, six. egg whites. So, so you're whisking in that sugar. We want it to look lovely and glossy. Yes. So, oh, that, that is looking yeah, fabulous. Yeah, that, that's almost looking like really delicious, shiny marshmallow, isn't it? Yeah. Beautiful. OK. Mm. So now that's meringue, and it needs to be turned into a pavlova base. And the wonderful thing about pavlova is that it is a cross between a marshmallow and a meringue. So you need corn flour, two and a half teaspoons. And usually, with uh, pavlova base, you use a bit of vinegar. But this is a lemon one, so I want some lemon. I'm going to put the zest of one lemon. Now, two teaspoons of lemon juice. Can I tell you, you must measure properly. I just really resent the authority of a measure. <laughs> but you must always measure properly. Um, do you want to line that baking tray? I do. So if you will, you give me a bit. And what I do is I do this in each corner, and then it sticks down. 
Sorry, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna Just be. Hold it. No, I'm not. <laughs> right. Okay, can I just do a bit of this? Yeah, I love, love. This is a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Dude, that looks so great, Rossi. Right. This is when I think actually I would be so much happier if I were a bricklayer. <laughs> I do really like. I like all the smoothing. Right. Now, it's preheated to 180. The minute it goes in, you turn it down to 130 for about an hour and then turn it off and leave the oven door open. Mm. The important thing with pavlova really is how it cools. I like the wooden spoon trick. You create a little, yeah. little gap for, and, and then you don't have to leave the oven door open. Because you leave the oven door open, you will fall over. <laughs> so so the, the, the pavlova's cooked, we've let it cool in the oven, so we'll get yep. that out. So, I'm going to try and get this out. Mm, I think we will, no, just nice about. Work. Perfect. There we are. So, oh. here, this is what I think of as like the belly of it. It's all still soft. You know, look, I can make little holes in it. So, instead of doing cream and then the fruit, I really need that lemon uh, going in straight onto the meringue. So, yeah. quite a thin layer will do it. But I, I like to push it quite near the end because I like it when it starts being a bit messy and dribbling down. Yeah. Anyone salivating it? Yeah, <laughs> your mouth just waters. <laughs> 300 mils of cream. I don't like cream that's beaten too thick. I think it has to be aerated and thick, but a kind of slight voluptuous softness about it. For me, a pavlova is a dreamy creation. Bit more lemon zest. And when I first made this, I knew I needed something else. I didn't want to put a fruit on top, and I knew I needed something. So I toasted. Um, some flaked arms and it cool and I use quite a lot of 50 grams it's not a garnish it is absolutely an essential part of the makeup of this because you need a lot of crunch sure. and so I love the clatter you see Great. So here you are, my lemon pavlova. That looks <laughs> unbelievably delicious. Who wants to try? Right, OK. Heather, Brett, Charlie and Cecilia. Oh, look at that. That, that marshmallowy centre is delicious, isn't it? You can just hear that crunch every I cut know. you make. <laughs> Nice large slice for us. Oh my yeah. god, that is the best pavlova I've ever had. <laughs> oh, so good. Mm. Oh wow. Heather? I love the crunch of the of the almond. I think that mm. makes it, I think it pairs well with the crunch of the of the base. Happy bread? Very. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> well, why, 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 why not? Oh. Oh. We can what smell pavlova. Decided to uh, rock and roll in. You got spoons already? Yes. <laughs> that, no, George. No, George. There's, there's sugar in this. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have had the most amazing week with Nigella. I think it's been a privilege for us, just I'm sure as it has been for you. But you know what we're going to say? Go home, get some rest, because <laughs> next week is another monster. Well done. Nigella Lawson. And good luck. Next time, a prize worth fighting for. Whoever wins today's mystery box goes straight to the next immunity challenge. With so much on the line... Do you want that advantage? They'll push themselves... I'm going to have a real crack. ...to the absolute limit. This is a cracking dish. Best looking dish you've put up so far. But it's only just begun. No pantry, no core ingredient, 
We're cooking with our scraps. They'll endure the toughest invention test yet. Waste not, want not. With necessity, the mother of invention. I want leftovers. They're getting everything. They'll think outside the box. Love it.